Hey everybody, it's Excess Master X. And, Welcome. Oh. oh, sorry. And I think this is the Steve Engine? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. And we're going to be doing some Gadget Racers multiplayer today. Now, it's been a while since I played this game. But let's, let me do a quick option. Huh. What? I, yeah, I got invited to do a game I've never played before, so this should be interesting. Yes, it will be. So I turned on the sound effects a lot because one of the biggest flaws with this game that I've heard uh, people complain about who played it is that the fact that the car's engines are way too loud. Yeah. Imagine if that was the case in Mario Kart. Alright, this... The fan base. Yeah. I can't hear the Rainbow Road music because <laughs> the engines are too loud. Yeah. There, what? There was a soundtrack? But the game is a good soundtrack, so I turned up the music all the way. Now we both select our cars. Alright. Let's see what they have. I should have probably come, gone through here whenever I was testing this and found a good one for beginners, but I don't know. So I just choose whatever I want? Yeah, look at the stats. Probably one of the most good handling and acceleration because you've never played this game before. Sounds good. Okay, definitely not this one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this one. Looks like uh, my, my mom's old car, so. <laughs> Sure. Uh, I think I'll use this one. This one looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Let me look through this a little bit more. I'm gonna be pretty picky here. The only familiarity I have with this is that the, that the cars are Cherokee cars. And even then, I only know that because Cherokees are popular in Japan. Indeed. This, I'll, I'll go with this one. Yeah. Probably not even what he says, since they've been overshadowed by the video games. Yeah. I don't know though. Are the, are the video games popular in Japan? Or oh, wait, did you ask if video games are popular in Japan? I mean these video games, the Toro oh. Q video games. Well, I've never I've never heard of these until you started let's playing them. So, all right, let's start with the basics. It could just be me being extremely un uninitiated. Possibly. Prairie and Country Road. All right, so this is controls? the easiest course in the game. Hold down the X button. All right. Square button is break. Uh. Actually, circle button is break and square button is reverse. Now, backing all the cars up, we have are. Backing up. Backing yeah. up. Actually, is that reverse? Is, oh, is there a drift button? Um. No. You can only, like, break slightly when you go around turns. Alright. I'll let you win because I'm, like, demonstrating the controls. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, to go in reverse, you actually have to press the L1 button several times and shift into reverse gear. Well, I'm backing up, backing up. Every car in the game uh, has AMAC trans transit changes from 1 through 6. Alright. Because my car only goes to 4, so that's pretty impressive. Mega hmm. these are built to be race cars. Alright, now I've gotten the basics out of the way, let's go to the HD Circuit Long Course. We're gonna be playing through all of the horses, right? Yeah. Okay. Some of these are exclusive to multiplayer, so this will be interesting. So both of us will be uninitiated. Yeah. Although I've played on this a bit as a kid with my sister. I find that the best way to take turns Why is, is to... Point? The best way to take turns is to kind of just like... Untap the acceleration for a while. Okay. And slow down a bit. It's a lot different from Mario Kart. Okay, so it's like F-Zero. Yeah, I guess so. You never played F-Zero, have you? No. <laughs> well, I mean, there's... I can understand why, since there's no Falcon punching in the game. Since Captain Falcon's moveset was made especially for Smash. Yeah, most of the moves are forward. There actually is a shortcut to do this fast. Which I probably won't know. Probably won't know that. Watch it, this is gonna take me an entire video to get used to. <laughs> I, I usually won't have to do that for basic turns, just for like far 90 degree points. I mean, I, I, dr I drive like some of the people who live here. <laughs> Apparently the drivers in like Utah are terrible. I mean, there's actually a, a TV tropes page from the Houston area, and one of the tropes is, is about bad driving, so... Oh wait, they removed the... They moved the shortcut and broke the third one, okay. 
got to need national defense for Usually we have to do it like, like, very briefly and press it. I should have taken you to the game's driving school. Oh crap. Well, probably be a good idea since I've never taken drivers now. Probably, probably why I'm at, in my house a lot and I barely leave. So you just think you're getting used to it? Um, kinda. If I mash it, if I mash it, I'm gonna find it. Please don't tell me that your dungeon is like this. Is no, it? No, not really. Okay. It's a lot more complicated. Oh, great. Right. Well, at least I don't have to mash X enough times. I usually don't have to break, except for very specific circumstances. If this were real driving mode of the right now, like how, how many times I've crashed into the walls. Alright, you seem to be getting the hang of it. Good luck next time! <laughs> Because my luck is either the best or the worst. The best luck of times and the, and the worst luck of times. God, I need to memorize the entire quote and quote it to people constantly to annoy them. This is a very basic course, and it gets you practice in turning. It looks like a baby park. It basically is baby park. I'll bait without the green shells. <laughs> yes, and that'll be a relief. My probably one of my favorite courses in the mesh. These turns are wide enough so you probably don't have to mash the X button. Oh, right. I don't have to go more your party on controller then. <laughs> yeah. Just carefully move the analog stick. Mine's a bit. the handling's a bit overreactive. Yeah. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it! Speaking of which, I think there's a sparrow. <laughs> Asparathon Lunchbob on today. Asparagus Spongebob? As I tried to say a Spongebob Marathon. I don't know. Huh, maybe we can catch up later. Who knows? Yeah. Do we have bigger fish to fry? Did you bring ball? Yeah. I bought two I bought two copies. <laughs> yeah, I long story. Left turn! Left turn! Well it's not really a long story. It's just that my copy of the ball stuff working, so I have to pull all yours. Yeah. So like that's a, the end of the story. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah. It was basically so I could practice for the 3DS version. It seemed to have played off well, knowing how badly I've left some people. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty in this game, so I'm not top in this one. And it hurt, and it also it doesn't help that I'm not I'm not playing with the car I'm used to. <laughs> Boy, you're so badly wrecking me. That's okay. I wonder if Troy Q has a multiplayer mode. You never checked? I don't think it does. Huh. See, it's, it's a lot more non linear than this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This controller is very weird. Oh. The, the, the D pad is like an Xbox 360 controller's D pad. That's weird. Yeah, oh, wait, but, but then again, this isn't really a D pad, it's something that needs to find it, you know? Yeah. What's this horse? This is Shiro Desert and Oasis. Nice. I, it's long or short? I, I wasn't paying attention. The, the level where the sun constantly gets in there. Yeah. Okay, this is long. Can you imagine how long that would be in real life? Like the sun kept getting it, your eyes and drive. It does. That's right. why they have little drop down shields. Yeah. I, I'd use those when I was in California. And here's the part where you get the. Oh, wait. I screwed it up. But if you go all the way up down that ramp, you get to fly. Oh, it's, it's, rip it's ripping off Mario Kart 7. It's completely used. Because we all know that Mario Kart 7 did everything first. Yep. Mario Kart 7 was the first game to have multiplayer. <laughs> it was the first game to have multiplayer. I think Pong had multiplayer. He was only multiplayer. Ah. Uh. This is the course I always hate going on in single player because it gets your car dirty. You have to go to the car wash. 
Oh, dang it. I, I don't do anything this so time. You know, like my laundry. Right. And my dishes. It's pretty, it's pretty dirty. Okay. It's like when it's um, it's like in a new, my history class. Um, <laughs> in my history class, this one kid was, um, there was a substitute teacher, and he told everyone to put away their phones while he was talking. Like, you drink. When he, while he was talking, like, this one kid pulled out his phone, and it was like, Ugh, put your phone away! Like, what are you looking at? It's like, this one kid from the back of the class, he said, he's looking at dirty pictures. So, so I just randomly shouted, Oh no! My dishes! I think... I think like, the, the reaction was like, half of my class is laughing, half of my class is doing it. I'm just like, uh, you and your bad puns. Right, you're kind of infamous for that at our school. Yeah. Like, whenever I hear someone talking about, uh, one of the squad, uh... The squad at our school? Yeah. I'm talking about, uh, the close kind King Iron and Mikko. But usually it'll either be like, so talk about the false kind of like, oh yeah, he's really annoying. Um, he ruins all our inside jokes. Yeah, and, and if we talk about that King Dad Red, like, everyone always talks about the shield so he carries with him. <laughs> that, that shield is close to being this 2DS. Yes, it's a piece of toast. <laughs> this morning, when, um, when I was watching the, the Fairly Out Parents, I think like one of the characters turned into a toaster. <laughs> so <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was this 2DS. <laughs> so I started randomly laughing. You can keep the same car as you want, I'm just gonna change mine. So my sister gave me this very concerned look. <laughs> like, you alright there? Looking at all these. Since, since, I'm, la since I'm laughing at a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what they say. All toasters toast toast. I'll play as the garbage truck. Which, as you know, in crap. I didn't mean to do that. In the yeah, in the single player game, the garbage truck is infamous for always losing the race by a lot. Well, I mean, it's called the garbage truck for a reason, I guess. Yeah. Although in the in the like tournaments, you actually managed to do pretty well. That looks really interesting. Are we gonna get skis or floats in this level? That's always the debate. I don't know. You're the one who's played this game. Okay, I guess we're getting floats. In the short course, I use, generally use floats. In the long course, I use skis because I have less water. All right. So is there any, any reason you asked me out, you know, out of all people to play this with you? No one else would. Okay. I mean, no one's ever played this game, so I mean, you're as good as anyone else. I mean, make, makes enough sense for me. You have better, much better, like, water equipment than I do. Well, much faster, at least. Might have better handling. Which helps make up for my car's terrible handling. This part's interesting. I've told you about the you better check yourself before you struck yourself into the my pre calculus class, right? No. Please might. So one day my teacher was uh Oh what the heck is uh, she asked us to make a funny phrase and give it to her for bonus points on the test. And uh, one of the kids wrote, "You better check yourself before you struck yourself." <laughs> okay. And then she was like reading it out to the class aloud, really confused, and everyone started <laughs> laughing. And everyone who was like knew what the internet was started laughing. And she was like, "I'm guessing there's more to that." I think. Uh, this kid in my class named Kyle was like, oh yeah, there's a lot more to that. You should find the video it's based on and play it in the middle of class. <laughs> Shrek is love. Shrek is life. <laughs> I originally found out about that video in the first place from a bunch of kids in my chemistry classroom. I was seven years old. I had all the Shrek movies, and I had all the Shrek merchandise. <laughs> Apparently they're making a Shrek 5, I think. Oh, they are? Yeah. I'm gonna go see it 
with all my... Now for some reason, Shrek has the most peculiar uh, stance on the internet. <laughs> because, because of the stupid bad fiction. Yeah. I, I, re I really want, want the tagline for that movie to be, it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, it's <it's> so <laughs> I, I want I want to see like a new Shrek movie just so I can have that tagline. Indeed. Which is saying something since I've never seen a Shrek movie. Oh. Yeah. I like the second one the best. <laughs>